ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin. This is my co-host Teddy, and today we're talking a bit more about ray tracing. So this is a subject that's kind of difficult to talk about because so few of us have ever actually experienced playing a game with ray tracing turned on or RTX enabled, I guess some of you might say. Uh, and because of this, it can make sort of this video and this topic a little bit difficult to discuss. But I'll start you off first with the article. So this is from WCCF Tech and it reads, AMD's David Wang, we won't implement DirectX ray tracing DXR in games until it's offered in all gaming product ranges. So to give you an idea on what this article is basically about and what AMD is talking about here, AMD is basically playing wait and see with ray tracing. And I think this is the correct approach. And before you guys go, oh, Kevin, why are you doing so many pro AMD videos lately? It's not intentional. Um, if you think I'm an AMD fanboy, I run a 9900K, so okay. Um, yeah, the... It, it's not about that. It's just that AMD seems to be making a lot of uh, good moves lately and there's, there's been quite a bit of news about them recently where there hasn't been as much with the other companies. So that's basically why. But back to today's topic. So playing the wait and see game is, is smart here. I don't want to make it too complicated for some of you guys and the enthusiasts will already know this. But uh, to set up a GPU, to make a GPU so that it performs well with ray tracing, uh, basically some changes need to be made to the architecture. We'll put it that way. Uh, let's just say it has to be more specifically designed to do that. NVIDIA has obviously done this with the RTX cards, it, you know, hence why they put it in the name. They are very much set up to take advantage of ray tracing and do quite well in it. The issue being right now is that there's no actual games that have it. So AMD's strategy of this wait and see does make sense. Look at it from both ways. If ray tracing and the whole thing, D DXR turns out to be a bust, then they get to sit back and say, hey, look, you know, we, we never pushed for this or, you know, anything like that. Uh, it's all on NVIDIA. But if it does take off, it means NVIDIA's kind of taken on all the risk and they've also had to kind of create the market for it. A market in which AMD can then sort of come in and uh, try to capitalize on as well. To be fair, NVIDIA would have the lead on them already, so they would be playing catch up. But I feel like AMD and Radeon are already playing catch up as it is, so that doesn't really change anything there. So it, it will be smart in, in that aspect. But waiting it out is what should have happened. Like, let's be honest. Releasing graphics cards to uh, perform with a certain feature like DXR, but not having any games that are capable of, you know, utilizing the cards for that reason is just so bizarre. And it's puzzled all of us. So it's it's kind of a strange thing in that aspect. So with all of that being said, this leads to, I guess, the million dollar or billion dollar question. Is it going to catch on? And is it going to be the next big thing? So you can see that NVIDIA has sort of gone all in on it. And this is the question that everybody's talking about. It is very, very difficult to know. Uh, it honestly reminds me a little bit uh, of AMD's mantle if you guys remember that uh, so but AMD didn't go as all in on it but it was definitely something that they were like yeah this is gonna you know really change up the industry and it didn't and this could be the same thing now I may be wrong about that but I don't know it's just a feeling I have but Nvidia is a big company and they've definitely done a lot of research into this. So the fact that they're going so all in on it means they probably know something we don't. And they have the confidence to obviously rebrand their cards and 
uh, you know, make changes to the architecture in a, in a way in which to utilize it very well. But it's still a sort of interesting time we live in. So in the comment section down below, on this topic, what do you think? Not so much AMD waiting in, to see what happens, because that's just smart, uh, but more, do you think NVIDIA has sort of d done too much of a leap of faith with this? Or do you think that it will be the next big thing and NVIDIA getting in early, so to speak, is going to allow them to open up an even larger lead and uh, show that, you know, I guess their GPUs will perform much, much better than AMD's in this area. I'd like to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let me know. So that's going to round out this video, guys. If you haven't subscribed already, I suggest you do. If you haven't joined Teddy's super cool club, I'll leave a link in the description down below and you can help support the channel. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.